Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Rashmi Sinha from Indira Gandhi National Open University. Today, we are going to talk on the module Heath and Carter Methods of Somatotyping from the paper Human Growth, Development and Nutrition. Now, what are the learning objectives of this module? You will come to know about somatotyping, the development and the Heath and Carter's method of somatotyping. You will also be able to understand the different rating methods, the different categories and the plotting of somatotype. The technique of somatotyping is used to appraise body shape and composition. Therefore, somatotype typing involves quantification of a shape and composition of human body. It is expressed in a three digit rating which represents endomorphy, mesomorphy and ectomorphic components respectively always in the same order. Endomorphy refers to the relative fatness, mesomorphy is the relative musculoskeletal robustness and ectomorphy is the relative linearity or slenderness of a physique. For example, a 352 rating is recorded in this, in this manner wherein endomorphy is rated as 3, mesomorphy as 5 and ectomorphy as 2. These numbers give the magnitude of each of the three components we talked of. Any component which has rating of half, 2, 2 and a half is considered low, 3 to 5 as moderate, 5 and a half to 7 as high and 7 and a half and above as very high. The rating is phenotypical as it is based on concept of geometrical size dissociation and applicable to both genders from childhood to the old age. The Heath Carter method of somatotyping. It is most commonly used method of somatotyping today formulated by J. E. Lindsay Carter and Barbara Honeyman Heath. Heath and Carter in 1967 combined the modified form of Parnell's M4 technique to make the Heath system more objective. They defined somatotype as the present morphological conformation and expressed the primary components of physique that allow us to understand personal phenological characteristics and body composition three-dimensionally. The first component or endomorphy refers to relative fatness and leanness. The second component refers to a condition where mesomorphy has more developed skeletal frame compared to height. The third component or ectomorphy refers to a condition where somatotype is of linearity. When deciding ratios, the grades, HWRs take up largely but not entirely. This will be assessed based on the first and the second stretched outness longitudinal distribution of body form. Extremes of each component are found in both the ends of the scale. Lower ratios of the first element mean that there is an extremely small amount of non-essential fat. On the other hand, higher ratios relate to higher non-essential fat ratios. If the second element is lower, skeleton frames are light and muscles are not definite. If it is higher, musculoskeletal system is significantly developed. If the third element is lower, weight takes up more in comparison with height. On the other hand, if it is higher overall, weight takes up much less in comparison with height. At the same time, bodies or constituent parts are linear and HWR is higher. There are three ways or techniques of obtaining the somatotype. One, the anthropometric method in which anthropometry is used to estimate the criteria somatotype. Two, photoscopic method in which ratings are made from a standardized photograph. And three, the anthropometric and photoscopic method which combines both the anthropometry and the ratings from a photograph. Anthropometric methods for calculating somatotype. Now let's take them one by one. Equipment for anthropometry. The equipment includes a stadiometer or anthropometer, weighing scale, sliding caliper, a flexible steel tape, and a skinfold caliper. 
For accurate measuring of biepicondylar and femur breadths, the caliper branches must extend to 10 cm and the tips should be 1.5 cm in diameter. The maximum pressure exerted by the skinful calipers should be 10 grams per millimeter square over the full range of openings. There are different types of calipers, the hard pendant caliper, Holtain caliper and others. Accuracy and reliability of measurements. The advantage of anthropometry are lost unless the measurements are accurate and reliable. That is, they are precise. It is essential to learn precise measurement techniques and accurate calculation. Although calculations of Heath Carter anthropometric somatotype is an objective procedure, the validity of the rating depends on the reliability of the measurements used. Investigators should report test retest reliability of the measurements. The anthropometric somatotype can be calculated in two ways. One, enter the data onto a somatotype rating form. Two, enter the data into equations derived from the rating forms. Now, these figures show are the examples of calculations using the rating form to calculate the somatotype. After all measurements have been recorded on an appropriate recording form and average or median values are calculated, it is then transferred to rating forms. You can see in the figure a blank rating form, it is shown here. The following steps are followed to fill in the rating form which you can see. First, record pertinent identification data in top section of rating form. Now for endomorphic rating, the steps are record the measurement for each of the four skin folds, sum the triceps, subscapular and supraspinalis skin fold thicknesses, record the sum in the box. Opposite, sum three skin folds. Correct for height by multiplying this sum by 170.18 divided by height in centimeter. Then circle the closest value in the sum three skin folds table on the right. The table is read vertically from low to high in columns and horizontally from left to right in rows. Lower limits and upper limit on the rows provide exact boundaries for each column. When the values of some three skin folds are within one millimeter of the limit, they are circled. In most cases, the value in the row midpoint is circled. In the row for endomorphic circle, the value directly on the column for the value circled in number four above. For mesomorphic rating, values of height and breadth of humerus and fever are to be recorded in the appropriate boxes. The skin fold thicknesses are corrected before recording girths of biceps and calf. Then in the height row directly to the right of the recorded value, circle the height value nearest to the measured height of the subject. For each bone, breadth and girth, circle the number nearest the measured value in appropriate row. Deal only with columns, not numerical values for the two procedures below. Find the average deviation of the circle values for breaths and girls from the circle value in the height column as follows. 1. Column deviations to the right of the height column are positive deviations. Deviations to the left are the negative deviations. Then calculate the algebraic sum of plus minus deviation, use the formula mesomorphy is d divided by 8 plus 4. Round the obtained value of mesomorphy to the nearest one half rating unit. In the row for mesomorphy, circle the closest value for mesomorphy obtained in the number 9 and above. If the point is exactly midway between the two rating points, circle the value closest to 4 in the row. This conservative regression towards 4 guards against spuriously extreme ratings. Ectomorphy rating. Follow this now. Record the weight. Obtain height divided by cube root of weight. Record HWR in the appropriate box. Circle the closest value in HWR table to the right. In the row for ectomorphy, circle the ectomorphy value directly below the circled HWR. Move to the bottom section of the rating form. In the row for anthropometric somatotype, record the circle rating for endomorphy, mesomorphy and ectomorphy. And of course, sign your name to the right of the recording rating. 
So HWR, remember, is the height divided by the cube root of the weight. You can see the calculations in this table for anthropometric somatotype for subjects using rating forms. We need to understand the two important principles. One, when the measurement of bone, breadth and limb girths lie to the right circle height column, the subject has greater musculoskeletal robustness relative to the height that is height mesomorphy than a subject whose values lie to the left of the column of height. The best index of average musculoskeletal development relative to height is ascertained from the average deviation of the circle values for breadths and girths. Two, the table is constructed so that the subject is rated 4 in mesomorphy when the average deviation falls in the height column of the subject or when the four circle values fall in the subject's height column. That is, the average deviation to the left or right of the height column is added to or subtracted from 4 in mesomorphy. Height weight ratio calculations. The height weight ratio is obtained when height is divided by cube root of weight or from nomograph. Now let us understand what are the limitations of the rating form. The mesomorphic table at low and high ends does not include some values for children or for large subjects like heavy weight lifters. Nonetheless, the mesomorphic table can be extrapolated at the lower and upper ends for these subjects. Some rounding errors may occur in calculating the mesomorphy rating because the subject's height often is not the same as the height in the column. However, if the anthropometric somatotypes, if regarded as an estimate, this second limitation is not a serious problem. Nevertheless, the following procedures described in Carter and Carter and Heath can correct these problems. Certain somatotype ratings are not biologically possible, although our examples are not among them. For example, a 222 or a 787 are impossible somatotypes. Generally, somatotypes high in endomorphy and or mesomorphy cannot also be high in ectomorphy. Conversely, those high in ectomorphy cannot be high in endomorphy and or in mesomorphy, and those low in endomorphy and mesomorphy must be high in ectomorphy. If the calculations for any component is 0 or negative, a value of 0 0.1 is assigned as the component rating because by definition ratings cannot be 0 or negative. The photoscopic ratings would be 1 half. If such low values occur, the raw data should be checked. Values less than 1 are highly unlikely to occur for endomorphy and mesomorphy but are not unusual for ectomorphy. Component ratings should be rounded to nearest 0.1 of the unit or nearest half unit depending on the subsequent use. After the values are entered into the equations rather than onto the rating form, it is impossible to check the pattern of values in either the endomorphy or mesomorphy section as in the rating form although the raw values can be examined from errors. This is a limitation for using equations. Further checking can be done for either method by using the HWR and by plotting the somatotype. There is a relationship between HWR and likely somatotypes. You can see that in the figure 4. The somatotypes in the rows are those most likely to occur for a given HWR. For example, Given a HWR of approximately 49.6, the most likely somatotypes are 118 or it could be 129 or 219. The next most likely somatotypes are those in the rows directly above or below the row 49.6. If none of these somatotypes match or are not close interpolating for half unit ratings, there may be errors in the data or calculations. However, other factors such as heavy meals or dehydration can affect the body weight sufficiently to alter normal HWR. For subject 573, HWR is 43.4. The figure 
4 shows that in the row for HWR of 43.64, the somatotypes are 163 and 253 occur. His 1 and a half, 5 and a half and 3 is a combination of these two ratings. Therefore, his anthropometric rating agrees with that expected from HWR rating. For subject B188, HWR is equal to 45.6. Her 3 to 5 somatotype occurs in the row above that of her HWR. Her ectomorph is borderline between 4.5 and, and 5, which suggests that she might be 3 to 4.5, that is halfway between the two rows. The somatotypes for both subjects appear to be reasonable. Photoscopic somatotype rating method. The Heath and Carter somatotype ratings are based upon standard somatotype photograph together with a record of age, height and weight. Somatotype photograph is a valuable record of the physique, especially when a change is expected and for longitudinal growth studies. It can be used as a supplement to the anthropometric somatotype rating in assessment of body image and in association with the anthropometric profile. The procedure for photoscopic ratings are, the following procedure assumes that the rater have photographs of 20 or more subjects. 1. Arrange the photographs from high to low according to the calculated HWR of each subject. 2. Group the photographs by their proximity to given HWR rows in the figure. 3. Beginning with the photographs with the highest HWRs, arrange the photograph in each HWR category according to inspectional judgment of relative values or dominance of the three components. Then record on the photoscopic rating form the first impression of relative values of the three components. On a separate sheet of paper, write down the somatotypes with same or similar relative dominance as estimated rating and lying on the same H2R row. Then, after making ratings of all photographs at the same HWR group, compare them to check their similarities and differences on each component for compatibility with HWR. Repeat the above process for each successive HWR group. When all HWR groups have estimated ratings and have compared, arrange the photographs on a large surface first in order of increments of endomorphy. Repeat for mesomorphy and ectomorphy. Calculate the means for each of the three components and for HWR. You can see the photoscopic somatotype rating form. The somatotype photograph requires standardized poses of front, side, and rare views of the subject. The recommended minimal equipment consists of good quality 35mm camera with an 80mm lens and attached flash. The camera should be mounted on a tripod at 5.8 meters from subject and the lens height at approximately mid stature for most subjects in the sample. Commercially developed standard color print film is quite satisfactory and relatively inexpensive. The subject should be dressed in minimal clothing such as lightweight swimsuits or running shorts. A more permanent somatotype station should include a data board, turntable, standard scale, white background and a flood of flashlights. Digital photography is now a viable option if care is taken to keep the focal length long to reduce distortion of the physique. The anthropometric plus photoscopic somatotype rating method. In this, following are required for the anthropometric plus photoscopic somatotype rating. They are the standard somatotype photograph, then the distribution of somatotypes according to HWR, the photoscopic rating forms, and Heath Carter somatotype rating form. Now, what are the steps? How do we actually assign a somatotype rating? The following steps are followed in assigning a somatotype rating. Arrange a series of somatotype photographs and their anthropometric somatotype rating forms in groups ranked by HWR. When any one half unit category is large, subdivide the group in three parts, upper limit, midpoint and lower limit. Beginning with the group highest in ectomorphy, arrange them from 
low to high according to the anthropometric ratings in endomorphy. If all the subjects are equal in endomorphy or if there is a greater range in mesomorphy, rank them from low to high in anthropometric mesomorphy ratings. Record on a worksheet an identification number and anthropometric rating of the first subject usually with the highest HWR. Somatotype categories. Somatotypes with similar relationship between the dominance of the components are grouped onto categories named to reflect these relationship. The somatotype categories as represented on the somatotype chart which is shown here. Subject 573 is an ectomorphic mesomorph or ect mesomorph and subject B188 is an endomorph ectomorph or endoectomorph. All the other somatotypes plotted within the same area are assigned the same category name. The frequencies of somatotypes within categories can be used to describe the overall distribution of samples for comparing them using chi-square analysis. Mesomorph, endomorph, endomorph and mesomorphy are equal or that they do not differ by more than one half unit and ectomorph is, ectomorph is smaller. In me endomorphic mesomorph, mesomorphy is dominant and endomorphy is greater than ectomorphy. Balanced mesomorph, mesomorphy is dominant and endomorphy and ectomorphy are equal or do not differ by more than one half unit. Ectomorphic mesomorph is mesomorphy is dominant and ectomorphy is greater than endomorphy. Mesomorph ectomorph. In this, mesomorphy and ectomorphy are equal or they do not differ by more than one half unit and endomorphy is smaller. Mesomorphic ectomorph, ectomorphic is dominant and mesomorphy is greater than endomorphy. And in case of balanced ectomorph, ectomorphy is dominant and endomorphy and mesomorphy are equal. Endomorphic ectomorph, ectomorphy is dominant and endomorphy is greater than mesomorphy. Endomorph, ectomorph, in this case endomorphy and ectomorphy are equal and mesomorphy is lower. Ectomorphic, endomorph, in this case endomorph is dominant and ectomorph is greater than mesomorph. Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Now central means that the no component differs by more than one unit from the other two. Endomorph is endomorphy is dominant. Mesomorphy and ectomorphy are more than one half unit lower. Mesomorph, mesomorphy is dominant. Endomorphy and ectomorphy are more than one half unit lower. Ectomorph, in this, ectomorphy is dominant. Endomorphy and mesomorphy are more than one half unit lower. Plotting the somatotype. Traditionally, the three number somatotype rating is plotted on a two-dimensional somato chart using xy coordinates derived from the rating. The coordinates are calculated as x is ectomorphy endomorphy, y is 2 into a mesomorphy minus endomorphy plus ectomorphy. For subject 573, x is equal to 1.5 and y is 6.5. For subject b, 188, x is 2 and y is 4. These points on the somato chart are called somato plots. If somato plots for subject is far from that expected when compared to suitable reference group, check the data and calculations. Because the figure is quite crowded with numbers, the final somato plots could be projected onto a somato chart without numbers. The three dimensional somato types, as the somato type is a three number expression, meaningful analysis can be conducted only with special techniques. Somatotype data can be analyzed by both traditional and non-traditional descriptive and comparative statistical methods. Although descriptive statistics are used for each of the component, comparative statistics should be made in the first instance using the whole somatotype rating. This is followed by analysis of separate components. We can go through some useful definitions. Somato points, which is represented at S. It is a point in three-dimensional space 
determined from somatotype which is represented by a triad of x, y, and z coordinates for the three components. The scales on the coordinates axis are component units with the hypothetical somatotype 0, 0, 0 at the origin of the three axes. Somatotype attitudinal distance, SAD, is the distance in the three dimensions between any two somato points calculated in component units. Somatotypes attitudinal mean SAM, the average of SADs of each somato points from the mean somato points of a sample. Somatotype analysis. The most widely applied method for obtaining the somatotype is the anthropometric method of Heath and Carter, which has been modified slightly since it was first published. Important changes include the conversion to a rating form in metric units, the use of height adjustment for endomorphy, which is now standard procedure, and use of equations instead of rating form to calculate the component ratings. Recently, Rempel has developed modifications of the rating form and equations so that scales are truly size dissociated. His modifications are sound and when tested further, they will probably be accepted as a preferred method for calculating somatotype rating. Analysis of three number somatotype rating presents some unusual problems to the uninitiated. How should such a rating be analyzed? Early solutions typically involved either analyzing the three component ratings separately or grouping somatotypes and comparing the frequencies. During the 1970s and 1980s, more sophisticated analyses appropriate for analysis of somatotype as a whole were developed. These were summarized in series of publication Hebeling in 1973. Duckant and Hebeling in 1977, Carter 1988, Carter et al. in 1983, and finally Carter and Heath in 1990. An important element of these development was the ability to analyze whole somatotypes in two or three dimensions using appropriate equations, which led to the application of conventional statistical analysis. These equations quantified the distances between somatotypes. The two and three dimensional distances between pairs of somatotypes are called the somatotype dispersion distances and somatotype attitudinal distance respectively. The average of the distribution of somatotypes above their mean is called somatotype dispersion mean in two dimensions and somatotype attitudinal mean in three dimensions. Because SAD and SAM are based in three dimensions, contain more accurate information about the true distances between somatotypes than the SDD and SDM, which are based in two dimensions. The three-dimensional approach is recommended for most analysis. Chronological age and decimal age gives the accurate age of the individual, whereas the decimal and skeletal age gives the approximate age of the individual. The research age is not considered as an appropriate method and is used mostly as a research question.